the end of this video lesson, you will be able to illustrate the different conic sections and other degenerate conics. First, let me show you this double right circular cone and a plane. A double right circular cone is a geometric figure made up of two right circular cones placed apex to apex as shown. Typically, a double cone is considered to extend infinitely far in both directions. So here are the parts of the right circular cone. We have the naps, the upper nap, and the lower nap. We also have the axis and the vertex. We can also see here the flat surface or the plane. Now my question is, using these cones and plane, how many possible intersections you can think of? Hmm? Okay, reserve your answer as we go through our lesson. Now we are going to use a double right circular cone to visualize the conic section. To do this, you are going to cut our cones at the different angles. For the first angle, we are going to take a very flat plane at an angle of 0 degrees. When we cut our cone using this, we are going to get a circle at every layer of the cone. And now, we have a circle. Now, I have increased the angle of my plane a little. If I cut my cone at this angle, the circle shape does not remain anymore and I'm going to get a squished circle or an ellipse. For the third situation, I'm going to increase my angle further such that this plane is now parallel to the nap of the cone. At this angle, when we cut the cone with the plane, the new shape that we are going to get is called a parabola. For the fourth situation, I have increased the angle even further such that the plane is now vertical to the axis of the cone. In this situation, when I cut my double right circular cone, both cones are now giving two independent shapes and together they are called hyperbola. So what we saw here was, we can get four different shapes by the same double right circular cone by cutting it at four different angles. And these shapes are called the conic sections. So, conic sections or conics are curved obtained by the intersection of a plane and a cone. Conic sections can be identified as circles, parabolas, ellipses, hyperbolas, and degenerate cases. Conics can be found in nature and have many applications in other fields. Now, let's take a look of the different conics. We have figures 1 to 3 show the conic sections, or sometimes called the non-degenerate conics, while figure 4 shows the degenerate conics. The first conic section is the circle. A circle is formed when the plane is horizontal as it intersects the cone. The bottom part of the figure shows a circle. There are many real-life representations of a circle. A regular round pizza, ferris wheel, and the face of a coin are among the numerous examples of a circle. Now we have an ellipse. An ellipse is formed when the plane intersects only one cone to form a bounded curve. In the figure, the top part shows the usual ellipse that you will see in this subject while the bottom part is a circle which is considered a special ellipse. Now we have a parabola. It is formed when the plane intersects only one cone to form an unbounded curve. The trajectory of a ball thrown upward forms a parabola. Parabola has many applications in real life, including in the field of architecture and manufacturing. Another type of conic section is hyperbola. It is formed when the plane intersects both cones to form two unbounded curves, each called a branch of the hyperbola. An art glass that contains two hyperbolas, one in each side, is a real-life representation of a hyperbola. Lastly, we have these degenerate conics. As you can see in the figure, we have a point, one line, and two lines. They are also formed when a plane and cone intersect. They are referred to as degenerate cases or degenerate conics. I hope you learned something. Stay safe.